Everybody thinks that today's who buy youths fall into one of two categories, those who buy it for work or those who buy one for lifestyle reasons. But there's now a middle ground of buyer, one who wants the look and ruggedness of an entry-level workuta, but the ability of a lifestyle weekender that can be bought without spending mega dollars. Nissan is capitalizing on this emerging trend by introducing the all-new 2017 Nissan Navara SL. It offers the looks and ability of a worksite warrior, but counters that with the bells and whistles of a more expensive UTA. And it comes with the ability to go off-road on weekends. Priced from $43,990, the Nissan Navara SL is available only as a dual cab, four-wheel drive and sits above the entry-level RX and below the sub-premium SD in the Navara range. Where the Navara RX looks like a basic Orkuta, with thin tires and steel rims, the SL turns it up a notch with beefed-up wheel arches, a tray-mounted plastic spoiler, privacy glass, LED daytime running lights and headlights, wider 255mm tires, and side steps. Inside the cabin, the SL comes with all of the features fitted to the RX, plus vinyl floors, rear-view camera, a 5.0-inch infotainment screen, auto-dimming rear-vision mirror and a rear differential lock. The SL was released at the same time Nissan made adjustments to the right and handling of the entire Navara coil sprung range. Nissan started off by understanding the ride of the Navara was compromised when payload was added to the tray. Our experience found that in an STX, even with 650 kg of payload, well short of its 900 kg plus limit, there would be constant impact with a rubber stopper used to prevent metal-on-metal -metal contact. Nissan also said the car looked unappealing with a weight in the rear, which meant it looked like it was constantly overworked and sagging, unlike a lot of its competitors which appear more composed when carrying a payload. This issue was resolved, according to Nissan, by making changes to the front and rear shock absorbers with rear rebound dampers also stiffened to prevent the oscillation effect experienced with a softer ride carrying a payload. To see whether the changes helped sort the Navara's ride, we drove over a mix of city and country roads, as well as spending some time off-road. One of the first things you notice when maneuvering the Navara around city streets is the excessive amount of effort required to make turns, especially U-turns. The Navarro uses a hydraulically assisted steering rack that needs 3.75 turns to move from lock to lock.